I'm going to show you how to do the poor morphology visualization and the poor size distribution in the Dragonfly software. First, we'll do a segmentation. We'll use a very simple stretch code based uh, segmentation to get the ROI, the region of interest for the pores. Then we extract the largest com connected pore network from the ROI. Then we do uh, more the pore network modeling by using the Open PNM tool. After that, we'll show you how to visualize the um, morphology of the pores by the graph tool. And finally, we'll get the pore size distribution and for connectivity distribution. So this is the data set I already uh, loaded to Dragonfly. For your information, the data set is downloaded from the Digital Rocks portal, Project 172. So I'm going to use a very simple threshold based segmentation using the range tool. So the range option, if you check it out, you will see um, a histogram and the two bars. So by changing the bar position, you will see different uh, colors for pixels, like the colors indicates which pixels have the intensity in this range. So by visually inspection, we can check a good range. Then we add to new. This will create a new ROI. We can rename it to Porsche. Now we don't need the defined range, we'll check it off. So we have the ROI now, and I'm going to do a cropping by using the clip box. So in the previous video, I showed how to use the shape tool, the cylinder to crop the ROI. Now, now I'm going to use the clip box. So First, I will hide the volume from the um, 3D view so you can see it more clearly. Visualization in 3D view. I have opacity for the volume, so I check this. Uh, I turn this to be zero. Then I turn on the pole uh, ROI. You see, this is the this is the pore ROI. And by moving the clip box, I can do a clipping in 3D. Also the Z axis. So this is the clip view of the pores. But to get a to get a cropped version of this ROI, I need to go um, to the Modified and Transform menu, the Crop sub-menu, and the, the, the position of the clip box has been um, automatically filled here. So I just need to apply this. And because this Create New option is checked, so it will create a new ROI for me, and this will be the corrupt one. So we can check it now. I got the new ROI, which is the corrupt area from the previous one. Now I'm going to do the extraction of the biggest component, because not, not every pixel in this ROI are connected to each other. So I'm going to do a connect connected component analysis. So use this tool and I can choose either six connected or 26 connected. So I'm using the six connected now. We will create a new object, which is a multi-ROI. 
and in this new object the multi LI we can see it has like 5747 classes and by clicking the count you can get the largest one in fact the, the most of the pixels has been um, included in the largest component or the largest class so you can see here all the others they are separated from from the the, the biggest component now I can either s delete the the other classes from the multi ROI or I can extract this biggest class as a new ROI so now I got a, a new ROI which is the largest connected component from the multi ROI which is the uh, for sure it's the uh, the connected part from the original ROI and it all the non-connected components has been removed like the one here well they have two different color when I make them two different colors like this one has been removed because it's not connected and now I'm going to do the poor network modeling by this menu this will pop up um, open PMM which is a third-party package here so you have the reference here um, I go to the network tab the input now is the ROI the ROI I generated uh, previously and the face index will be 1 because 1 is for all labeled pixels so this is LY and, and the labeled pixels are my um, my pore space. So I'm, I, I need one for the face index. And all the other options, I keep them as default for now. I just click the, um, the button here. The button says create graph. So this will take uh, maybe one minute or two. Uh, if you have very large data set or very complex um, port network, so it will take much longer time. For this one, I think it will take about one minute. And when this is done, we'll see two new objects. One is the multi ROI and one is the graph. The multi ROI will have um, maybe thousands of classes, and each class is for each pore, each pore body. Um, they will be colored differently, and uh, we'll have a lot of um, properties for each pore, like the size of each power body for or, or the um, the size could be the diameter or the volume or the surface area so now it's done we can go um, okay so this is ROI we start with and this is the multi ROI we um, created from the open PNM you can see each color now is um, <coughs> is a one is a, is one a pole body and uh, the it has been labeled as 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 um, classes in the in the multi ROI so this means it has 5701 poles in in this network And also we have a graph generated. The graph will show how this pole are connected to each other. We can also turn on the multi ROI. And we can
can clip the multi array so we could see the graph and the multi array together. I probably don't want to see the axis for now, so I turn it off. If we click the graph object, we'll see a few things, like the color bar, two color bars, and also the settings here. The settings here is to tell the rendering engine what to show, uh, how to show them. For the edge, like this is the edge radius, we can make it bigger. And the, the, the edge radius measurement represent um, the area. And the for the color, the edge lookup table uh, represents the diameter. And the vertex, vertex are the the, the balls here, so it, we can make it much larger than now. And the radius of the or the size of the vertex now is representing the area of the pole um, because the, vert the vertex uh, like one vertex is one pole and the edge is the edge is the is, is the throat connecting two poles so we can change the vertex radius to be like a volume which means the the larger vertex is a larger pole and we can also change the color for the uh, vertex to be uh, I will make it to be volume 2 okay so now you see maybe this is not the biggest uh, in this network so you you don't see the color see the yellow one let me do let me clip okay clip it more here we see the whole network We should see uh, a yellow ball somewhere. This one, okay, surface area. We see this is the biggest one. This matches the, uh, the color here in the color bar. The color bar shows the yellow one is the biggest uh, um, surface area. When I che check it to diameter, is the same. The biggest one has a, uh, a big uh, has a diameter of about 300 microns. But the volume, okay, hmm, a bit strange. The volume should be also. Uh, think to another color. Hmm. It looks like some kind of issue here with the volume we don't show the color properly mm, not the same as the lookup table shows okay hmm. all right so this is the histogram it gives the distribution so if we change if we change the uh, the scale value the scale type to vertex and we choose it to be the volume so this will be the volume distribution 
or if we change to diameter this will be the diameter distribution and you can you can uh, change the the count of the beams and for the um for the connectivity we need to add it to the graph because by default the open pmm it 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 didn't um create the scalar value as the connectivity for us so we need to add it manually after we got the the um the graph so we right click the graph there's a menu set um add a connectivity add vertex connectivities measurement so after this we have a new measurement which is the connectivity here so we could have or could uh, select this one and now it shows the connectivity the for example the big one is connected to 44 other poles and we also can get the histogram of this um, the connectivity oh we don't need such a big uh, bin size because it's uh, the ma ma the maximum is 44 Okay, alright, that's all I want to show today. Thank you for watching.